hello everyone so welcome to the video for gravitation so in this chapter i shall not be discussing the theory because the theory is very easy i shall be focusing on the questions that i have taken so the first question is from the book erodo where we have a double star so what is a double star double star is a system of two stars moving around the center of mass of the system so whenever a question has been given in physics always try to draw the diagram for it so we have two stars are moving around the center of mass of the system so let me take the two stars the first one let me say has a mass m1 and the second one let me say has the mass m2 okay uh we need to find the distance between the components of the double star if the total mass equals m so total mass equals m implies m1 plus m2 will be equal to m and we have been given that the period of revolution is time t so the period of revolution is some t so the mass m1 can rotate uh in so in a circular motion like this in a circular path and the mass m2 can also rotate in a circular path like this so the center of mass let me say the center of mass is somewhere here you can take any arbitrary center of mass and let me say the distance between m1 and m2 to be some x so let this distance be some x or l whatever you want you can take this is a variable and has to be eliminated at the end and the distance between m1 and the center of mass can be taken to be some let me say r i am more comfortable with x and r so i take x and r okay so we have to find first of all the distance between m1 m1 and the center of mass so what is the distance between m1 and the center of mass from the basic center of mass chapter you all know that that is basically we have taken r so r will be equal to what m2 into x that will be equal to m2 into x upon what m1 plus m2 as this point will let me say have some coordinate 0 so this point will have some coordinate x because we are taking with respect to m1 with respect to m1 so m2 into x plus basically m1 into 0 so that has actually happened so this term has already become 0 so we get r is equal to m2 x upon m1 plus m2 now we have been given that the uh, the system has only the gravitation force which applies itself okay so they are attracted to each other only by the force of gravitation so let us use uh, the f is equal to ma types law the second law of motion uh, so f is equal to ma we know that now we know that the force here will be equal to g see what is the force between these two the gravitational force between m1 and m2 so that will be equal to what g the capital g into m1 into m2 upon what x square and what is providing this force in this case so that will be equal to what m1 into r into omega square because we are rotating the mass m1 around the center of mass so the radius will be what r let me say it has some omega and we have m1 we are taking for m1 so it will be r for this case now we need to derive what from here we we can take out the value of omega from here so we get the value of omega from here let me cancel m1 and m1 from both the sides so we get omega is equal to under root g m2 upon r into x square now we know that we have the value of r from here we can put that value of r here or let us think about something else what we can put we can put r only so let us put the value of r from here so omega will be equal to what under root g m2 upon r that is what is r r is m 2x upon m1 plus m2 okay into x square now why we have put r only and why not certain value of x from here because the question has asked that we need to find the distance between the components of the double star so what are the components of the double star these are m1 and m2 what is the distance between both of these that is x so we need to find x so we don't need to replace x we need to replace other components by the function of x so from here we get omega what is omega omega is 2 pi by t and t is already given to us in the question so that is not a variable here so 2 pi by t will be equal to what will be equal to under root m2 and m2 gets cancelled g into m1 plus m2 upon x cube squaring both the sides what i get from here 4 pi square 
टी स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू जी इन टू एम वन प्लस एम टू अपॉन एक्स क्यूब फ्रॉम हेयर वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स दैट वी गेट विच इज द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर दैट विल बी द क्यूब रूट ऑफ फोर पाई स्क्वेर टी स्क्वेर वी हैव टू टेक दिस ऑन दिस साइड एंड टू टेक दिस ऑन टू दिस साइड सो इट विल बिकम जी इन टू एम वन प्लस एम टू इन टू टी स्क्वेर अपॉन फोर पाई स्क्वेर so this is how you solve the question where we have a double star and the distance between both of these is asked a very important question for j mains also why because a simple question a very short question and the only thing that we have used is the basic gravitational law and let us move on to the second question in this question we have a large spherical mass m which is shown here it is fixed at a position and two identical point masses m these are the two identical point masses m are kept on a line passing through the center of m the point masses are connected by a rigid massless rod of length l so this is a rod which is rigid and has a mass uh, and it is actually massless and has a length l and the assembly is free to move along the line connecting them so only horizontal motion is possible the only interaction which is there is due to the mutual gravitational interaction no other interactions are possible only mutual gravitational interactions will be possible when the point mass nearer to m is at a distance r is equal to 3l from m that is the point mass which is nearer to m is this small m so it is at a distance of r is equal to 3l from the capital m the tension in the rod is equal to 0 now we need to find the ratio of small m is to capital m so let us solve it by using the basic laws of physics so let us do for the this mass first of all the small mass m so what are the forces that are acting on this mass m the first one force is the gravitational interaction of these two masses so that attraction will be in this manner the second type of force which is acting on this small mass m is due to the gravitational force of attraction acting between the two small masses m which is acting in this manner okay so what is the gravitational force acting here that is equal to g m m upon what r square that is the distance between these two minus what is the gravitational force which is interacting here g m into m by l square is equal to what m into a that is marks into acceleration the basic uh, physics law now let us write the equation for the second mass m so for this small mass m the first force is the interaction that is happening here between these two so that is happening in this direction only the attraction now for this mass m small m and this mass small m there is another gravitational force which is acting between them which is also acting in this manner so what is the net force that is acting on this small mass m that will be equal to g let us take with respect to the bigger one first m m upon r plus l whole square and both of the forces are in the same direction so a plus sign will be there g m m upon l square is equal to m a and let us simplify the first one so g m m upon r square r is what 3l given in the question 3l so upon 9l square minus g m square upon l square is equal to m a let us take it to be the equation first Now what is the second equation we have r is equal to 3l as given in the question so put the value here so what we get is g capital m small m upon uh, we get 3 plus 1 4 that is 16 l square plus g m square upon l square is equal to m a so these are the two equations that we get now let us equate both of these now from the previous page let us equate both these equations so what we get from here is that let us take this on this side so what i get is 2g m square upon l square taking this on this side so what i'll be getting is 16 9 uh, 16 minus 9 that is 7g m m upon 16 into 9 l square now let us see that what we can get from here so cal cancelling l square from both sides cal cancelling g m from both the sides so we get is that uh, 17 by 1 7 by 144 into capital m is equal to 2m so we need to calculate small m by capital m 
so that will have a value of 7 by 288 so these are the two questions that I have discussed regarding the gravitation chapter this chapter is very easy so I am not taking more questions in this so if there are any doubts in this video you can definitely ask me in the comment section and always you need to study the theory for this chapter best of luck